Hello everybody, welcome to the second round match between Seabraw and World Sitar. Seabraw has a wizard because World Sitar did not fire his rubbish yeti. Um, <laughs> uh, joining me in the booth is Crystal Hunter. Hello. Hello, Jimmy. I'm super excited to see some of that. Uh, um, doing some special stuff here to win the game. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, PC will be joining us very shortly. Um, fair me. Yeah, World to Die is a very good Russian coach. Uh, Aunt Miss Blacks believes he is the best Russian coach. Um, however, he hasn't sacked his Yeti, and I think that's his big mistake for this game. Because, he, you know, I think if Seabros doesn't have a wizard, then, you know, he, it's better <laughs> than him having this rubbish, 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 rubbish Yeti. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do agree, like, and, and this is the thing, like, um, there are some coaches that say, like, well, I'm not going to adjust, like, for this round because I might face something else in the next round. Maybe that was the idea of, 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 of Will Sitar here. Do you usually agree with that idea? The, like, there is an argument for it, yeah, for sure. But, I mean, this is Skaven with a natural one-turner and a wizard. Like, yeah, this is a real, real big chance of it being your last game. <laughs> like, this is a real danger. Massive danger, it is. isn't it? <laughs> like, you would actually just hope that you just get a lot of removals at the start as the Norse, and then things will fix itself because, like, you don't have um, a lot of momentum for the wizard then at that point. But seeing as the LOS is, is looking really good for the rest nine right now, like, I, I don't know. I don't know if um, the rest are going to take a lot of damage in the first few turns. Like, it's going to be difficult. Yeah. <clears throat> it's next round against vampires. I think the yeah, he's rubbish against vampires, so... So... Uh, <laughs> it's the push. Yeah, this is a gym LOS, this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Not hitting I with thought Pong. he would follow it up by a gym fall, but um, sadly the, the dirty player just blitzed, so... Yeah. So I, I like keeping the tackle pommer back to like you know dissuade gutters from coming in, isn't it? Like okay, you're missing the you're missing the pom on the LOS, but I think it's the right thing to have him back with his tackle yeah. ready to uh, act. That's that's also like and, and and he's also just in the right position there to make it really hard for the gutters to actually gain some position on the on the on the ball carrier to try and actually just um, get get the ball carrier base. Um, like people joke about it a lot about oh being the ball the ball space it's 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 over but the thing is like um, as soon as a ball carrier gets base it usually redirects a blitz so it prevents someone from moving forward so I think during the game during the course of the game you will see uh, C boss use that to um, that tool quite a lot just to um, just to make sure that the Norse aren't moving forward um, with their blitzes. Yeah, there's a time and a place for it, isn't there? It's just the, the 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 problem with the base and the ball is some people, some people who aren't really qualified to give advice, <laughs> give advice to people, <laughs> and and some of the things they say is like, you know, people who are new to blood ball say, how do I stop a cage? And they're like, base the ball, and then people are like, oh, base the ball, and it doesn't really work and do anything. So yes, yeah, so obviously sometimes it can be very powerful but sometimes it can be yeah. totally useless yeah you gotta you gotta find a way to make it as hard as possible like if you if you do this you gotta find a way to make it as hard as possible to um, <laughs> to reach the one that's attached to the ball um, make sure that he has to invest a lot to actually get a blitz going or um, as 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 Seabos has the side steppers like make sure he has to fill up some squares to clear out the, the side step from the uh, from the attachment on the ball um, those are really important things to to do if you're um, if you're world sitter here, and that means that the more you invest um, your players in those kind of in those kind of plays, the less um, players are again moving forward and being in good positions. So um, you get some opportunities to maybe even sack the ball at some point. So that's usually the plan: uh, the cave and hold on. And this is why I personally like things like diving tech or shadowing on the gutters because. You can make um, you can make it even harder if if they manage to don't down the or not down the gutters. Yeah, he, so, just, yeah. he just piled on with his fucking yeah. You know. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Will Sator, of course, has a, has a huge history as a coach, right? Like, um, yeah, I remember yeah. you talking about him way back as, as one of the uh, Platform Cup yeah. players in your team. Yeah, he did represent the PC on the uh, the, the the ancient now, uh, the, the first the first and really only cross platform cup that mattered. <laughs> Where I can't remember who made the team. Somebody, somebody like somebody involved in Blood Bowl said, you know, like PC. One of the PC admins was like, "Let's have World Tatar because he's Russian and he's good." And then it was like. He, and then he offered me a spot, and I was like, "Why don't I get the team together?" So then I got Ducky and Mole, and uh, and you know, obviously oh, Ducky and Mole are amazing. Oh, and uh, yeah. you know, World Tower was already part of the team, and we tried to talk him out. We tried to talk him out of Orcs because <laughs> I thought it was a terrible choice. And uh, and you know, he, he did well with the Orcs. Like you know, he won both his games with the Orcs. But so he does have like kind of not not standard ideas when it comes to team building and stuff. Um, but he, he is definitely good at football, for sure. Yeah, I did, I did see that as, uh, in the first game as well, when he was facing uh, Miss Pell 3, and Miss Pell 3 was about to win the game, was really close with um, with a war dancer that was about to break away, but then um, World Sitar found a genius, absolutely genius, um, a double chain to chain mm -hmm. his um, Berserker two squares back, so that's the Berserker would just be in range to hit the war dancer that was that, that broke away. Um, it was the mighty blow tackle berserker with piling on. So like that was that was that was a super move by him, and um, that kind of saved him from losing that game. He could have been eliminated first round, but he managed to find that move. Um, so yeah, definitely one of the better coaches out there. Like um, with, with with those kind of 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 little special moves that. Um, Always excite me a little bit. Like I love the chain pushing plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's definitely good at blood ball, but um, he does have he d like that. Yeah, I think he, I think he's definitely he has some ideas about team building that are different to what most people would have. But there's definitely no <laughs> doubt about how he is on playing. He's definitely good at playing. Oh, Jim, so behind the times. Did you not see Rick Reckless win a chalice? <laughs> Team building ideas are out the window, my friend. That's true, yeah. Rick is a chalice winner with his thick skull aisle <laughs> <Nile> thrower. <laughs> I mean, that didn't win the thing, obviously. He won with Chaffs, but, um, you know, yeah, I guess there's no point arguing about any team builds anymore, is there? That's true. It's over. That's done. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, joking aside, team builds do matter. What skills you pick do matter. But I've said a thousand times um, how you use it on the pitch and can you use what you've picked works a lot more. Which is why Crystal does things that other people don't, you know, in terms of building. But he knows how to use those skills and what he can do to put pressure on and use them effectively. Oh, um, thanks, I, I, I like that. I think that's good. And there is still space for that in Blood Bowl. Not everything has to be rinse and repeat. Some races do. Very hard to be creative with dwarves. But if you get some skill ups that can, you know, change that, some stats and things, then you still can do some things that are unexpected. Yeah. If you I, I usually have the feeling that. You don't want to be unexpected, do you? Not really, but I mean, there's uh, there's going to be an exciting opportunity. I'm trying to see it that way rather than the yet further death of dwar Chaos Dwarves as an interesting force. With break tackle changes, um, Dwarf Blitzers are going to be able to do some interesting AG4 type things uh, on normal skill rolls. So that's quite interesting. The possibility of taking break tackle there. Yeah. I, don't think I mean, I think Human Blitzers are going to be incredibly effective. It gives them somewhere to go after block, guard, tackle, mighty blow. Uh, the the place to go after block, guard, mighty blow is is retired. <laughs> Pretty much, that's the problem. I do like I do that. I do like stand firm on the on the human blitzer. Yeah. One of the clarity changes I didn't see coming in this latest FAQ is it turns out the free foul isn't a free foul. Yeah, well, he never From defined what a free so, foul was, so so people no, were like. And now they have, and it's worse than we thought. So pile driver got even worse, which is well, at least amusing and unexpected. What, what did you guys think the free foul meant then? Like just actually the, just a foul, foul so, without a send yes, off? Yes, that didn't. You know that that didn't count as your foul action for that oh, turn. I, I still I, thought I, you could get sent off, but I thought you'd still have a foul on top. Yeah, exactly. I always thought of, of it as a as a as a foul that was just uh, not. How do you say it? That was just not a regular foul, so you can do an extra yeah. foul. Yeah, no, it turns out it is a regular foul and you can't do another foul. Yeah. yeah. But it's free in terms of 
it's it's still your foul action for the turn, but it's a free foul yes. action on top of your block, which is yes. Uh, so, so that player gets a secondary action, which is fouling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Anaria. Even then, maybe. I mean, I I think it pairs well with the death roller. Yeah. Who, you know, then towards the end of a half when it's about to be sent off can start pile driving. But even then, there's going to be so limited times because, as I've said before, it's not the sort of speed of peace I like piling on with. Plus, piling on without Claw Mighty is not as useful. Um, but piling however, with guards, DP2, very yeah, good. Yeah, with DP2 and with, and with guards counting as an assist, so. And the whole even problem. in a tight pack. You can get all sorts of assists in with a guard wall. Who does that favour, do you think, Jeff? Dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> I was just teeing you up and I you knew it. Yeah. <laughs> but I loved the tone of voice. Right, so these Norse are trying to do, I mean, not dissimilar to me, they're trying to drive up where they can into the face of the rats, trying to create as many chances to suck rerolls or a fail that leaves a couple of uh, rats hittable. Yeah. And not it... minding if they take a couple of hits back in return, which is, is brave for AV7. It's risky. Like I don't, I don't really, I don't. I feel like this is too direct, especially if you look at the horns, um, storm vermin on the left flank. He's beautiful, like, isn't he? Yeah, it's it's just easy access to just hit the dirty player at the moment and just then just to the 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 the, four, the stand four, which is already a really effective move to just dislodge everything. It's exactly the move I was looking at, and I really hope we see it. And I think that gutter with the um, the lineman, is it? No, oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yes, the storm vermin that's gone in with the guard is to protect it after it does this hit, isn't it? Pretty much. It doesn't need the assist. I think it just wants the protection because that piece is so key to getting anything done. You could even get a three dice now on the on the dirty player. Like, yep. Oh, I think that's the plan. And he's going to hit from behind there where that advance just was, so that it can't be hit back. Which is great. Really proper rat strategy. You can also then. No. Nope. Oh, he's taking the ulf. Using the claw. Which is also fair. Using claw, the claw, yeah. yeah. Well, that's smarter than I was. <laughs> He's dead. Ah. Yeah, he is. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I and no one, I, this isn't my own quote, but I thought it was put beautifully and simply, and we can't do it, Jim, you and I. We're too old and cynical. The okay. pure, it, unadulterated joy of Mr. Payne also. celebrating killing your best player is not easy to replicate. Yeah, it's also more appealing when you have five hundred things flying around your screen. <laughs> um, <laughs> give me a second. Glorious. No one <laughs> wants to kill me. I don't know why anyone will mock I'm that. It's a simple, beautiful and plan. I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. <laughs> I just got a thrust. Look, my son loves all that. I mean, I prefer Monty, who's put, I think, as much effort in uh, in doing his little comedy skits and scenes that he wipes to. Terribly clever. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like Monty stuff. Um, thank you, Doug the Minotaur, for staying fantastic for one who will be the pregnancy. Absolutely glorious, thank you. No, I didn't like this Yeti, but I still don't. I think <laughs> if you dumped the Yeti, you wouldn't be facing a, a, a wizard. Yeah, I can't believe how much I despise the Yeti. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's awful, isn't it? It's rotten. I mean, they start pretty awful, and then you add a niggle on top, and it's really awful. And look how much TV it's soaking up. Yeah. I mean, like, you could definitely say World Sitar isn't a dri isn't isn't driving a Porsche, as you would say, um, <laughs> because yeah. uh, because it's it's quite daring to do. Like, the only reason I would do it is to keep him for the next round. That's that's. Yeah, I, I mean, I, exactly. I did. We we looked at that when me and Jimmy did a preview of this round, and we both hated this Yeti. And both said it should go so he doesn't face a wizard, but both agreed it wouldn't. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the thing is now, as a commentator, it kind of makes our job easy, because it's obviously a Yeti Blitz. <laughs> so the only question is what he's going to hit. I mean, that's that's yeah. going to happen. I know that. You know that. I, I, I would I would prefer, like, I wouldn't even do a Yeti Blitz. I would do an Uber and a Blitz around the back on the Storm Vermin to yes. uh, hit, hit yeah. the card player on the second. Yeah, yeah. So absolutely. You get a double hit. Yep. But if you do that, you can't activate... Well, you probably can't activate your Yeti. It's a 4+. Plus. Well, I mean, the Yeti's kind of doing some work there. It's holding one crap rat on the floor. Yeah, but then and if you do that, you can't affect it. So you've got a blitz with him. And then you can pile yeah, on again. Look at that huge amount of TV sat there doing sod all. Yeah, and then, and then you can pile on with him again. 
and then you can. Uh... So I think it's the other uh, way. I think he's... Jesus Christ! What is going on there? Like it's that not the piece the I thought thing. he was going to blitz with the Yeti, so that the uh, the lineman then got a hit on one of the gut on the gutter, but apparently not. Can you imagine me saying like, "What the hell is that on an uphill?" Like then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I, yeah, we didn't have time to register the shock. GFI blitz from the Yeti. Let's go. In which case, why did that hit first? It's just insane. So he can, so he can hit the claw pommer. Duh. Oh, I see. That's what he wants to hit. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. He's here it is. Here we go. He's done it. He's only gone and gone and done it. Oh, if he kills him, Jim, we're idiots, and he's a genius. Here's the pile. Oh, oh that's... Oh, I have blue balls. <laughs> right. But now, In the backfield, the Skaven backfield, the Yeti dies tonight. <laughs> Indeed. In the back... Um, so it's just a three plus dodge to get a dirty player on it, and you can have pretty much all the assists you oh. want. Um, oh, it, that, it's that's what I'm doing this turn. It's killing a yeti. Are you, anyone else got any other plan except killing a yeti? Yes, 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 yes. Like if if well, you're right, he's going to kill the yeti. <laughs> he could go for the ball, or couldn't he? It depends what he does with the ball here. You know, they've always yeah. got to respect the the scaven cage dive, haven't you? So, yeah. But this is what I wanted to say, here, purple. Just like. This is the reason why you don't like piling on because, like, yes, if he had End removed that, it would have been fantastic. But he's leaving like a bit End of an area over here. Turn, man. Oh, it's oh, terrible! He definitely shouldn't in. have done that, despite it was a hit on the most dangerous piece on the field. Because if the go for it failed, it was ruinous. The ball is now not going to be safe, so it's having to run away. In my humble yeah. opinion, one of the best like he has to go back, and now, now yeah, just and he has to protect yeah, yeah. things. He doesn't want to go so far back, and that rat at the very back. I don't, not sure he checked. Oh, it is move three. So he oh, DP fouls the, the DP. Kazuzu. Good evening, Save what the Yeti. Save the Yeti. Woo! <laughs> well, save the cheerleader, save the world. Um, <laughs> You just, I'm you just, still going to foul it, aren't you? I'm just not nah. now sure what I'm fouling it with. I, there's, I've got a, just a lineman I could kick it in there with. Away, its run, run away, couldn't you? You could run away. I'm I put him on my team anyway. In my opinion, what you do is you, you just take you take control of the center here. Like there's so many hits yeah. you can take, and you just you just there try really to take is. as many north down as you possibly can, and just take control of the center so you don't get hit on the next turn. Like you, yeah, can, you can dislodge a hell of a lot here. Yeah. He really. Well, I mean, he can and should. But the Ulf hit will leave the vermin and another rat already assisting on the Yeti, and it's just lying there. Yeah, hold on. What do you think about fouling the strength for Berserker? Oh, I like, like, I mean, I like fouling. I'm in fouling mood, you can probably tell from earlier. <laughs> I like fouling anything, me. I mean, the advantage of leaving the Yeti on the pitch is World Sitar's going to do extraordinary things with it again. So yeah. that has some equity. <laughs> Pretty much, and let him roll as well then, you know, like let, let him roll as well then. Yeah, totally. Well, uh, yeah, well, the Berserker has his, um, has his I mean, four, like. I was iffy about Yetis until Storr did his Black Box Trophy run, which was fantastic, and one of the races that he did it with, and we did several, um, was Norse, and we interviewed him for the podcast afterwards. And, I mean, it's a different format to CCL, because it's much tighter on TV matchups, though not once you get up above about 14, 1500, you can still get some big gaps. But, uh, I mean, he sort of agreed with me that, I mean, he expressed it, I agreed, because I'd been thinking it for a while. But a Yeti, you feel like you need one for the big, you know, aggressive matchups where they've got a lot of armour. But a lot of times, the reason you're in those big, aggressive matter matchups where they've got a lot of armour is because you've got bloody Yeti. Because yeah. they're not cheap for TV. I mean, I do think for Chalice, I'd probably want one on board, but I think if I was doing a Norse yeah. run, I'd probably leave it very late to hire. Oh, oh look at that. Um, yeah, that's the only reasoning I can think of. Like, you might actually land into some dwarves, like PC plays uh, yeah. during the next round. You might actually land some chores. Like, there's definitely some teams you, you want that Yeti on. So, yeah. like... I don't find it super Elway, weird that he keeps it. It's still one of the best no, but still I mean, look at the size of it. It's clearly life. been there for the whole run, and I, I'm not sure that's perfect. I mean, I think a Yeti with just Mighty Blow or just Guard would be almost as good. Yeah. But then, it, I mean, it has got you know a nice pile of skills on it. Double GFI to smash the gutter, they maybe. Absolutely rock hard today, <laughs> and so was my cock. 
I wouldn't be surprised. I think you take both the. I, I think you just hit the both the guard pieces here. Perhaps like I'm going crazy, but I was looking at this thinking, where's the ball going to go? Because he does have to move forwards at some point, and perhaps that's just the wrong question, isn't it? Yeah. That's definitely the wrong question. I mean, that's it's also hard to answer, so just smash things with pawns. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's there's problems galore here, though. I mean, that uh, strength for lodge yeah, step, sure hands gutter is lurking ominously. There's a lot of rats up in the backfield that need hitting over, or else this ball has to retreat even further. Pretty much. I mean, there's a lot of issues here. It's tricky, yeah, I didn't I, like it. I was only half joking about it. Because if you bang out that gutter, you're in a lot safer spot, but then obviously, yeah, where does the ball go? Yeah, this, this, this is why, like, moving back the ball the last turn was absolutely shit. Yeah. Sorry <laughs> yes, if I say that. It definitely was. Okay, that hasn't given him the eye cage shape I think he wanted. I think he wanted that guard up next to the ball. Yeah. And then he could have hit the other rat. I mean, at least it's trapped between two Norsemen, but that still leaves the the loose line rat. This backfield's an absolute mess, isn't it? Yeah. Well, he, he can recover it, can't he? I think. I think he yeah. Can yeah, there's... there's... But, but you're facing a wizard. Like... Yeah. This yeah. is this could be the next this could be the uh, wizard turning, I wouldn't even yeah, I, might strength, I, might, I thought the strength four blitzed, right? And then the strength four could have blitzed somebody and then he could have blocked and then he could have brought this blitzer and he could have had like a cage still. Yeah. Like it's not great, but he could have done something. I, I, I'm amazed we wasted the range of that berserker and its strength fourness. On yeah. just tapping that round. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think that was in hindsight. I think that's also the best move, Jim. Just, just try to get to the center area with the berserker, as you said. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. But I mean, I didn't, I didn't mind coming through the rat behind the one that's just hit. It's totally double GFI to hit the gutter. <laughs> yep. He's already greeted it. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I mean, it does just, need to uh, die, Jim. It's, it's filthy and it's dangerous, and there's a wizard. Yeah. Because you can cut this, the Yeti. This is this is Russian blob as finest as I as I know it. <laughs> like, you suggesting they just bang true. stuff and hope. Yeah. God. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you're right. They do. Oh, God, but it, I mean, some some of them are very very good at that, and they've got that <laughs> knowledge of the shapes. That means that it's not usually as bad as this looks. Yeah, this isn't as bad as it looks, is it? Like no, it really is. It's pretty. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. I mean, the rat that was trapped in the solid. backfield is four three to get to the ball. The strength four monster. I don't know why he one. Gets it. Right that way. wasn't a hit. I mean, it was yeah. already on tackle. I'd probably have settled for that, but that power is obviously better. But it was on tackle, and now it's knocked over. Um, it's not terrible. The other two gutters, you know, the gutter and the uh, that guard vermin are the wrong side of some crap but they're Norsemen it, it's sort of safe I mean you, yeah. you you could have definitely bolted dodged with a horns guy 2 deed him and then pick up the ball and run away couldn't he I think I think, I think the gun. momentum I think the momentum is gone due to that um, to that down gutter like the plus strength gutter so you don't yeah me it. too oh yeah I'm not saying I'm not saying that he should but I'm saying it was a pretty it was a pretty obvious play it was to was to bolt yeah. and put him in and go and get it wasn't it like I'm not saying it's it's right, or he should do it or anything, but uh, there was there was an opportunity to was it wasn't there? Whether you go for it, there was. Or... Yeah, I, I, just, uh, not. I mean, I, it's it's horrible not to with the field in this state, but I, I think that gutter being down says no to me. Yeah, yeah, that that's the deciding factor. Like if that's if that gutter was was standing up, I would have one hundred percent bolted that. Like I think I could have just crushed through. Like even if I have to do the three plus with the with the with the juggernaut horns player, like even if I have to do that, I'll take that. Yeah. Like to we, just open up the whole area. Yeah, exactly. There is a way to do it, which is you bolt the ball obviously, and then you run that other gutter as deep down past the strength four as it'll go, and the thrower. And then you fetch with the strength four and punt and win the foot race. But he's not wizarded, so it's not happening. I didn't think it was. I didn't think the wizard was terrible, but yeah, I wouldn't. Have, no, I wouldn't didn't have either. I mean, like I said, I, there were plans that put them into a lot of trouble. 
But it did need some decent dice. Oh, well, this was this is worked out nice, hasn't it? This chain, here. You can all... cheeky chain. Yeah, you can win the best game. Lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. And now you can just base the base the ball carrier and go for at least a one D, maybe even more. Yeah. Like you could actually dodge in the 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 the, the strand of three gutter first, like two plus into three plus on the back side, and then you just go on the other side with the with the line red, and then you go for the two D. It's quite yeah. simple. Yep. No, I mean the two D here is is Giles' play, isn't it? The one that's down next to that gutter doesn't need any dodges, does it? It can just go in and provide the assist, and then you can hit with the strength four, the the strength three gutter runner. Ah, oh, yeah, you need to cancel that one. Okay, well it's still doable. No, you could you could just dodge like the one that's hitting right now, the blitzer. Should yeah. I just dodge through to the left flank? Should have dodged the... through. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's what he needed to do. Instead, he goes with the one die. But to be fair, like he hasn't played, uh, like I said about Seabos, like he hasn't played like a, s a, a lot of Skaven, so like those kind of yeah. sharp things. Yeah, um, that one in six followed by the one in nine would have, yeah, given a, a very decent two die. Yeah. And of course, the ball then also falls over into the tackle zone. I mean, it may bounce yes. out, but into the tackle zone of that gutter with sidestep <laughs> and strength four as well. So there's, there's a lot of reasons why that was great. Mm. Purple chest, purple chest, like it's gonna gonna crush Skaven next season. Like it's absolutely <laughs> just gonna start the Skaven team. And if you hit with the one for the blitz, that's uh, no, because that's on a single. Okay, well you'd have to have hit with the other one, but it was doable. Yeah, definitely. No, I mean I've said this before. People call. I nearly got cross on someone's channel earlier. I just let it go. Um, people go, oh, you know, this is a dwarf coach and this is a rat coach, and I despise that. Yeah. And almost every coach I know that's good at any one race can pick up pretty much any race and coach them fairly well. Pieces yeah. are just pieces. They all have, you know, different abilities and things. But you, to understand any set of them, you have to understand the others too. You're right. You're right, PC. Norse coaches disgust me too. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean, Jimmy. I mean, yes, there's races you are more than familiar with, but and just you know, a decent blood bowl player can pick up any race. Life. Yeah. And usually make a decent go of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny, Connor. It's funny how how how, how PC and and Art are the both of both both dwarf coaches that are massively in denial of the fact that they're dwarf coaches. <laughs> no, I love coaching Norse uh, dwarves, and I think I coach them well. Um, I actually slightly agree with the rest of development. Who thinks I'm better with chaos dwarves? More more of a halfling coach myself. I've won plenty of things with other races, Jimmy. I'm not in denial. I love coaching Norse. I have dwarves, and I would never say I don't. I hate coaching Norse. Um, but I have slightly higher win rates with wood elves, not surprisingly. Who doesn't? <laughs> I do, I do respect and this season I'm doing a high elf run, and not just half a dozen games. But I'm Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure you're going to do fantastically well with those. Um, it's been a while since I, I've started a high elf team. But my um, my White Isle team that just won the White Isle League Plate has 304 games on them. Is he going to 1D here? Surely you just 1D, right? And then chain the guy out and then you can blitz and, and get free and then get down yeah. here with like a four or five man cage. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you can. You, you, it's, it's, it's a perfect 1D because you also get the guard in, you know? Like you get the guard yeah. in to get another hit there. Like, yeah. And you can even do another, another. then you can do the 2D to chain it out. Like you yeah. do the 1D first with the guard, okay. you put it on the. It, it doesn't you, have to be 1D. I'm just looking at whether there's anything to be gained by assisting it, but it, it probably is better if it is. Yeah. Like you keep the. you keep the you've got so few forward. pieces that you need to be able to. No, he is putting that assist in. I'm not sure he can risk that. Uh, well, I mean, that's also about keeping the ball safe. Why the hell was the yet? Oh, he got the ball down. Well, he can he can hit with the other one for the one D now. Yeah, it's not a not a disaster here. That's pretty shit. Though, well, it's a little bit. It's, it's a little not. bit of a disaster. It's, yeah, it's not, a bit not of a disaster. disaster. Yeah. yeah, it's. You can see disaster from there. I hate that Yeti so much. I don't know if I've made that adequately clear. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> this is getting horrible now for World of Oh, it got, it got solved. Yeah. Now he just moves to the right flank here. Yeah. But it's still horrible though, isn't it? Like he's, he's, only got yeah. two, he's only got two turns left after this. And 
everything. Like, okay, the, the, the Skaven are pretty much surrounded now. Yeah, the, the, the Skaven are, again, it's all worked out fine. The Skaven are controlled. The ball is moderately safe. At least a hell of a lot safer than any of us thought it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> this is fine. Now, the, the big question is how much of a nutcase is Seaboss? Because you could... <laughs> You could potentially scout a 1D hit with the lineman on the on the dirty player, and if that's a pow, there's a lot of yeah. plays you can lead into. Yeah, I quite yeah. like that 1D, actually. Yeah, I do. I mean, also because not scoring on their drive is, is great, but it's, it's always a stretch goal. Well. You, you mean, nothing makes you think that these Skaven aren't going to score at will on their drive. Oh, I would have re-rolled that, though. Like, if you go for that, you just re-roll it. Horrible mistake. Yeah. Horrible mistake. I, I don't touch that yet. I let him. I let him waste. Yeah. Just let him. Let him <laughs> fail his life away. That's brilliant. Yep. Yep. Either stand there, stand where he is, and never move, or ever move. Because yeah, it's four plus, but it's impossible to roll a four plus. So he can, he will either stand there and never ever move for the entire game, or he will waste every single blitz because he'll roll a one on every blitz. That's just how yet his work, isn't it? Literally yes, sir. Uh, Truk points out that this is not fine uh, because of the natty on the bench, uh, the wizard, and the marked absence of dead rats. And he's got a point. Um, but I'm just talking about from how an imminent disaster for the last several turns, World Sitar has somehow ended up in a reasonable position. And that's why he's as good as he is, is because he can bang hard and yet still pretty much end up with the ball safe. Yeah, and now this 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 passive turn from Seabros has basically given yep. Wiltsitar the score. I hated that turn from Seabros. Well, I mean, with the responsiveness of rats, perhaps if he pushes up this flank, Seabros can still get enough of a an elf wall using rats in front of it. But it's it's hard for him to get in not front. Not great, is it, Jim? No, it's hard for him to get in front here. Well, I mean, I would seize all of that space with an elf and the dirty player and tie it up, and then everyone else comes up with a cage just behind it so that he's either got to attack the cage or attack the space in front of the cage but he can't really do both yeah. and he might say this one is tricky but not everyone is as movement orientated as i am this is why it's just so important to have the the, the chase so to speak with the skaven yeah, hand and, and have constant pressure with the skaven because as soon as you drop that pressure a skaven like being able to reset that cage and being able to move forward is uh, is quite a thing here for the for the norse so yeah, I don't know. Maybe he dropped the ball a little bit here. Yeah, I think he has done. I think you move everyone up, and then you GFI blitz with the Yeti. I, yeah, I think exactly. I think he was um, mesmerized by the Yeti <laughs> in a way that, I mean, I am too, but in the opposite way. <laughs> I think that looks. I think that looks really. I think that looks really nice. Okay, yep. So he's got him max forward. Yep. I mean, if I was him, the Ulf would get there too, because that defends that space I want to run through. Yep. And then everyone else comes and forms, as I said, a cage behind it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that was a mistake. I think, oh, yeah, don't like that. I, I agree. I would have had him max forward. Um, he's also blocking his Yeti Blitz now, which is just unforgivable, isn't it, really? You can GFI Blitz that Storm Vermin. What are you playing Yeah, that's, that? I mean, that's exactly... That's, <laughs> I, I mean, if you want to play knew, this way, that would be... The blitz. Oh, and, and who blitzes then? Who blitzes then? Our Watch ball's just completely out in the open. It hasn't advanced. There's very little in range. Who? How do you not move the in ball? <laughs> you, you hit the guard I'm now. Confused. The guard line that with the force length for uh, Berserker. Uh, I think that's that's going to be the thing. And then you set up a screen over here on the right flank. Something like that. It's not great. Yes, but the, the ball goes surely... Okay, I mean, but, yeah, I suppose. If he was going to move the Yeti, then work out if it is going to move, but... No, not blitzing with the strength four. Now, now he lost me. Like it's just Yeah, now he's hit. positioning. Okay, that's... Oh, that's because he wants to kill the rug gutter again. Well, he's left his back door, sweet. Oh, I suppose with the Yeti, that shape. Again, that shape, it's casually brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> First glance, it looks really, really open and not protected. But actually, it's kind of all right. You can get in front now, though, can't you? Which is the problem. Yes. Yeah, now you smash hell out of that uh, dirty player Norse and just... Oh, you could also... Of this. You've got plenty of You could of also bolt it over, no? 
Yeah, like, you could. if you bought yeah. Right, like, yeah, then you can just get in and take the ball away. Yeah. You only got two turns left, you can't count the score, which is a bit rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. But I guess you would stop the score, which is good. Well, it depends. Right, well, if, plenty of space if, for the Samel Falls now. If the ball ends off field like that, Gutter can still score. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's quite a, a tough. It's a long shot though, isn't it? Yeah, that's, I mean that's yeah. really asking a lot. Though. Well, he just doesn't seem to need one. Look, here we go. Next wall. Yeah, if he walls this, it's fine as well. Like if he walls this, it's excellent, isn't it? Like just put him over here, and then you just you just move this over yeah, here. Yeah, it's it's just the it's just two dodgers offs that he needs. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he's doing it the other way around. So the, the, the gutter, the sidestep gutter, he keeps the center. That's a good idea. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Because if nothing gets there, it's got some chance of stopping things all by itself. Ooh, yeah. we need to reroll that and make it, really. No! Okay. Game on for the Norse. Yeah. You're telling me there's a chance? I am telling you there's a chance. It's not a great chance. We do need to knock over that sidestepping gutter. Yes, it's frenzy. It's a frenzy mighty blow hit. So, like with the same four. So we go it. with the the yeti, don't we? Yes. No. I mean, it, it hits for it three dice. On. It's got block. It can pile on. What's not to love about that? Yeti blitz. <laughs> we haven't got a tackle in range. One, two, three. Four. You go with the strength four berserker on the right side. Like you can reroll that then. Like you can roll reroll the three dice if Why you want. the elf? Maybe the orb, why, yeah. Why not? It's even better. Because you might have to cheer for him, might need the, uh, the Berserker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the Ulf does not. I might even put a cheeky assist in from the Berserker so that the first one's three die. Yeah. Or with my Yeti on a four plus. <laughs> with your useless Yeti. It's not useless, Jim. It's a mascot. Yeah, you could also hand off to the Berserker. That's also an option. It is. So, I guess the idea would be moving the Yeti, then blitz with the Ulf and see what happens. He's actually assist from that side, so he's going to have to, like, stay to around here somewhere. So he's probably Always make sure you down. do a completely pointless hit first. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, that's not pointless. He, he pushed it up onto Mighty Blow, and I don't hate it with Mighty Blow. Yeah, it is, it is fair. Like, after all, I did a two die to get me a three die when the game was over. Oh, which... yeah, you, well, you can't reach. Can he not reach? He's a lineman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and also just go straight hand off then, yeah. So he's just going gonna to surf and hand off. I didn't, I didn't realise he wasn't in range. So, yeah, there's, there's, there's no point even hitting yeah. him because they just hand off. Cool. Yeah, three plus, two, two. Three, two, two, one reroll. Oh, three doesn't work. Double one. Double one. Wow. Should have acted on that Yeti and burnt a one. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing it's fucking good for. <laughs> no, but but you guys are seeing the, the missing the bigger point here about Will Sitari. He's applying the space cadet tactic of not scoring on the first half. Oh, yeah. Uh, asserting yeah. dominance. Yes. Well, I mean, you know, as there's a natty that's just going to bang one in again. To return, it it yeah, perhaps this is cost neutral. Yeah, oh, nil nil one one. It's all the same. Why score? <laughs> <laughs> Who can that possibly benefit? I mean, it's fair, right? If he had scored, there'd been a real good chance of the one turner. So it's not that bad that he's failed the score. As stupid as that is. He has been out bashed though. He has. God, I hate Skaven. <laughs> and Skaven with a natty is just filth, isn't it? <laughs> utter, utter filth. <sighs> I'm feeling really uncomfortable in this commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dwarf coaches get it in the neck all the time. Uh, Skaven no, no, no. should occasion. I mean, because Gaben would need a rebalance if one turning gets a lot harder. It doesn't look like it really has be, got a lot harder in Blood Bowl 2020. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair, if they if they were as easy as people tell, uh, yeah, yeah, 
as I mean, easy as it people know it's like Somebody there would have been more chalice as one with the with the scape and like it's only yeah, I mean, I, I don't hate the current change i do think natties are the devil um, so needing at least one push probably two is is fine i mean at the moment scaven without it would drop to you know tier two or below i um i'm actually no quite excited really about wants. i'm actually quite excited about the scaven changes and uh and uh and uh so to speak, the removal of the one turner, um, because it will actually cut um, the, the the good Skaven coaches from the coaches that really rely on that one turner. If yeah, you know what I mean. ab absolutely. Um, I mean, so I still think Skaven do need that threat, and it's appropriate in their current build that they keep it. In I mean, I, I think, like I said, I think it's fine. It's been nerfed a little bit. Natties are now impossible. Near natties are very easy to build. Uh, but you're going to require at least one push, and it's going to alter the build, and it means that if people really want to lean into that, they're probably going to need a juggernaut, because similarly, three stand firms will start to dominate if that's still happening loads. Um, it's it's all good. Yeah. Not quite as extreme as the mean level joke I've always called for, which is max move 10 by any means, which would mean three pushes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward also to just um, level up the gutters because I, I am looking at it in a way where I'm heavily thinking about just going mutation, random mutation first. Yeah, on the gutters. yeah, that, I, I think that's very that. strong. Um, so, um, there's a lot of other races builds. Well, I mean, more specifically, positions on races that will end up taking randoms first. I think. Yeah. I mean, I'm really excited actually about the chaos changes. We're finally going to hopefully see some really creative chaos builds. Yeah, hopefully. Although distressingly, they're still not at the top of the kill stack. But then we're bringing. There will be hopefully all the different flavors of chaos coming. And that I, I like thought of a really too. nice chaos roster. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> it's a it's a runner, a troll slayer, two blitzers, <laughs> and seven long bits. <laughs> Look, Jimmy, I've said this before. I use my Chaos on Fumble at 600 games. We've got a 70-plus percent win rate, and we've never had a Claw Pommer. I mean, I've had plenty of Claw Mighty. I'm, you know, they're not soft. But against true killers, they struggle. But then I've usually got some skills they don't have, so I can win that game in other ways as well. I just get the same attrition everyone else does from them. Mm. Chaos, because they can strength for Blitz from any piece, there are a variety of ways you could be building them. It's just at the moment there's no point in this rule set. You know what I, I think is really interesting, the the random, the random possible random mutations you get to keep on the Necromantic uh, team. Yeah, I mean, it's a long shot, but it's certainly if you can induce that, it's worth doing it just for that shot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like I mentioned, a uh, flashy um, having foul appearance or something like that. Ducky, I've, I mean, I'd, uh, Jim should come in on this as well. He's read the new rules a lot as well. Except all he ever says when people talk new rules is dorf, dorf, dorf. Dorf, dorf, um, dorf, dorf, dorf. See? <laughs> uh, I think random strengths is a bit of a risk. There's a lot of utter toss in there. And teams that need guard, for example, probably can afford to save up and buy guard. Um... I think random generals on things like Norse linemen, uh, Amazons, yeah. are going to be really, really strong. You may not take loads, but to start the team off with a couple. I can and, even imagine uh, it on See on which direction that takes you, because they're going to be so cheap as well, so cost effective at 10 TV. I can even imagine it on Skaven Linus as well, because. Yeah, um, I, mean, yeah. You, I think all You need your kick, you need, yeah. your, you need someone to have those kind of roles, so like early on you might actually just random a few just to see what kind of roles you get on those. And arguing, arguably some of the bad ones aren't as bad on Skaven Lineman. Um, you know, yeah. for example, Fend and Shadowing are both more used than perhaps they would be on, say, a human Lineman. Though Fend can get <laughs> stuff used anyway. Plus there's the aspect of like, um, you know, the, the, the fact that you get them faster as well, isn't it, is the, is yep. the thing, so... Yeah, so well, like MPP is now down to four SPP, isn't it? But four SPP gets you a random primary role. Yeah, so so, I, so so certainly if you're in a league, there'd be you know there'd be times when yeah, you yeah. take a random skill just to get a skill to help in a game. Like if you're going to be facing yeah, die or then you'd probably think, well, I'll just random everyone because at least it's something is better than nothing for this game and things like yeah. that. Yeah, and I mean, if you're just about to head into a tournament, you might think, okay. You know, this piece isn't going to skill up during the tournament, but it's got one now. We'll roll a random and see what it is. It's only 10 TV or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd rather go in with a skill than with nothing. Mm -hmm. 
except yeah. possibly uh, Armbar or Ironheart's kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Armbar's pretty terrible. But like three of the three, three out of eleven skills are good, aren't they? For, uh, for yeah, strength, strength. Is pretty, pretty, pretty bleak to be honest. Uh, but general, there's a lot of decent ones, a lot of utility skills that you know you could always find a home for, particularly on alignment. Uh, mutation, I think, for a first mutation on a mutating team, there's a load of good options. Um, you know, just things like extra arms, monstrous mouth, they are useful, but you're probably not going to want to do loads of random mutations. But the first one or two might be worth it. Yeah. yeah. But, see, this is the thing, right? The, for the first, the first skill for random is three. And the second skill is four more. So for 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 seven SPPs, you've got two skills. Like okay, two random ones, yeah. but yeah, yeah. there's a lot of value in in how Fabulous. rapidly you get them. There is. But for a gutter, and that's just one game, basically. You yeah, exactly. Them. So you can just buy a gutter and give them two random skills, and then if they're shit, you know, tell them the fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a, for example, a random mutation, and then a random. Agility. That might be really interesting. Hmm. Certainly, I think one. Or there's almost no mutations that are bad on gutter runs, but that's because there's almost no skills that are bad on gutter runs. Pretty much. I, I'm just. I'm just really upset still that they nerfed shadowing so hard. Like, yeah, man. And really importantly, of course, if there is a rebuy system, and you know, Jimmy and I will tell you long and hard how that is just probably the most important thing about the season two rules is how they're going to be implemented and how's the rebuy implemented. Until we know that, we can't tell you what race is going to be strong, what skills are going to work, how you should pick them, none of that. Yeah. Um, but if you are picking randoms and there is any form of rebuy system, they're cheaper to rebuy as well. They, they keep that discount, which is fantastic. So I like, think what you'll do is, if you're going to redraft the team, you'll just go all random skills and everyone who's got yeah. SPPs left that you wouldn't normally yeah. redraft and see if you redraft yeah. them and stuff. God yeah, see if it's worth redrafting cheap. Yeah. I mean, it'd even be worth, you know, if if it is a, you know, if it's in CCL or equivalent, you get to say redraft once, and at the end of season two, it's chalice ready or whatever the equivalent is. Then certainly yeah. at that redraft point, you you'd throw anyone that you weren't definitely keeping, you know, that had SPP, and you'd try and score on them to give a few this option. You'd throw a random on, and yeah, if it's good, you've got a brilliant discounted player to build on. Right. I like this move from Will Sitter if I think now he's not. Yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's get back to the game. <laughs> up, base, base, Point. base. This won't fail. I'm on the oh. seven. Oh, wow. he did the, Look at that he break did tackle. The, he did the break tackle and he's coming. Wow. See, this is why I like his big tackle. That is a really nice move. That, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. That was leave, it, leave that available just wasn't really on, was it? No. That was terrible. If anything... Yeah. I mean, that was a 50% dodge to get there, which is, you'd take that all day for that kind of shot on the ball carrier yeah. and on the most dangerous piece on the field. Yes, I mean, Seabos was too naive there. Like, that's that's yeah. a non-block player that's just yeah. standing there. And, um... and he so didn't need to be that up into the action. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with the kind of move he's got, he could be, you know, just in front of the back line and still be really relevant to what happens. So I, I just don't understand why it was there. But it's totally changed this game. It's thrown it on its head. I mean, I didn't expect that because I thought he was going to go with the with the berserker with mighty blow just to hit the sidestep, which was a good move as well because you really lock in the area on the left flank. Um, but this is this is good. This is fantastic. That's, yeah, that's. Yeah, I mean, that isn't a bad move, but this is a much better move because he hasn't scored. He needs to do something that completely changes the expected outcome. Now. Yep. Which is that he loses. That, that was it. First turn. Oh yeah, with the yeah with the block. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? Oh, look at that! And there's only one gutter to really do anything. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Does he does he stability fireball or bolt here? Could bolt I don't, think I don't, I don't hate bolting that all the one that did the hit. Yeah. I mean, then you've got enough pieces to because the. The horns blitzer can still move the sure hands that's bothering the ball, and then the other gutter's free to go and get it. Mm. So if I was going to bolt, that's the bolt. Obvious, obvious blitz target is the sure hands uh, lineman with the with the with yeah. the horns player. So that's that's what you have to do. But yeah, um, other I mean, than the that, gutter, I... the gutter can still get there without the bolt. So yeah. I guess that's probably all right. Oh, 
That's not the result you wanted, is it? Mm. I think you have to take it. Like this is this is pretty high stakes, right? But like if you if you manage to get the ball here and keep the wizard, you still have some form of, of control yeah, absolutely. to move up. Because so. there's a pretty good chance you lose the ball again next turn if you get it this at the moment. I, it's not easy to find out how he gets this safe. You just Unless he goes with that that gutter. I think this has to be the one in nine, one in thirty six. Yeah. yeah. And then he needs to make some dodges afterwards to get it somewhere approaching safe. I suppose it goes over by the Yeti in that little area there. Yeah. I think it just goes in the right back area. Just just in the back area of the of Okay, the yeah. Grab and there. run away. Yeah, That's right. not terrible either. <laughs> on the sideline. Yeah. The problem is that Shorehands Norseman is. Uh, oh, it's only a run run lineman. I thought it was a runner. Okay, so it, it can't get right to the very edge. I mean, there's going to be a lot of pressure, like in in the up, in in the upcoming turn anyway. But like, that's the best you can do, I believe. That's a good point. Like I just cover. Just clean like that, yeah. Yeah. It's the one in nine dodge pops, but he gets there. This is why I like the the unexpected builds like so much, like the the, the dodge break tackle thing. Like people yeah. are getting so naive for setting things up, and they're like, "Oh, everything is going to be fine." I mean, that was a seventy-five um, percent dodging. That's way way too easy. Even an expected co uh, um, experienced coach like Seaboss, like it, it does happen. Yeah, it's well, happened to be one in nine with this lineman. That was the thing, but still, it was still one need, watching wasn't it. Because yeah. uh, in the pony competition he's in, uh, he oh. took my build of Norse from last season, and there's a break tackle wrestle Ulf there for exactly that sort of move. Do me. I don't Which like. I, I, think it's, I think it's a really nice piece. So, so, so what can happen over here is if if this stays unmoved, like, like luckily has his block still on that. Fuck off, like, baby. I, like the thing is, like he yeah. can definitely do something with a chain here. So I, I felt more comfortable just moving all the yeah, way this, back because if you're this on can the free the uh, this can free the guard, which is fantastic. We can drop it in next to the um, the rat that urgent needs to hit that nine men away. Yeah, and that yeah. really secures the shape a reasonable amount. He could get surfed, or couldn't he, if he does that? But yeah, that this is the thing. This is downside this point I was trying to make. Like, if he was hitting with the Elliot, like the line rat, and he rolled a one and nine into one and nine, like there's a chain there to to make to free up the Yeti, potentially, and then you can easily just get the three dice on the on the on the on the gutter runner with the ball, like in the end. So, I, I think like it would have been safer just to move him back. But now that he's made the roll and it succeeded, like this is a better position, of course. Yes, it was just break, easy break this tackle, is though, isn't it? I mean, this is what annoys lots and lots of people about Skaven, isn't it? Is the um, you know the gutter comes from the middle of a solid-looking press, dodges twice, picks up the ball, runs away, and then all yeah. the three pluses work. But of course, what you need to do is exactly what World Sitar has been trying to do, which is put them all under pressure so they can't move without those three pluses, and just trust that eventually one of them is going to come and there'll be a fail, leaving enough rats exposed, exposed that you can bang on men's. Oh yeah. Um. <sighs> Do you just yeah, punch I mean, things here? Do you just punch, yeah, punch, 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 punch? There's a lot of value in killing that uh, storm vermin with the horns and the claw and the juggernaut and the tackle and the mighty blow, isn't there? So mm -hmm. I might be trying to punch that. That would be and a good just moment. Put lots of, put lots of I, threat I, on. I hate saying it, but now, now would be a good moment to blitz with the Yeti. <laughs> well, and to surf one of these rats, because yeah, that's always nice. Team. And if not, it puts the Yeti stand firmness right in front of that ball area, which is terrible to be on. Yeah. But the two central rats do need dealing with. Oh, well, the break tackle isn't on now anymore. No. So he doesn't even have to consider the break tackle anymore. <laughs> well, it sort of is, Jim. Because he's got dodge as well, if you break tackle through and behind the line rat, and then it's still, you know, it's a four-plus dodge off, probably... Probably with dodge. That's still a 75%. But then you're hitting someone that's sidestepping, so it's probably not worth doing. No, that's horrible. Like he I, maybe he's could have, if he if he powered him, he could have thought about it. But not not without not with powering him. If it wasn't a blood step, I'd have a look at it. And with the with the powering, yeah. Yeah. 
Besides, if you control like all the line rats right now, if you could take all the um, or, or most of the line rats down, um, base most of them, like he only has the gutter to really be flexible. Exactly. Like, yeah, you, you can just drop. Yeah. You can just drop this guy back, can you? You can just punch him. He can punch him. You know, punch there, punch there. You can just do loads of punching, can you? Which is quite nice. Yeah, you can. And punching is always fun. Yeah. Then you punch this. Hopefully, you push and then pow. And then you can put the him in there, and then you can punch him, and then chain him into another hit, and they get even more punchy. Punch, punch, punch. He's not surfing. He's basing the ball. Well, Jim, this is bleak for Seabrows here. That ball is officially based. <laughs> well, he's removed the guard, though, and that is big. Yeah, that is... Uh... Well, it's very, it's really huge because, of course, he he isn't going to pile on, which otherwise I had a feeling he might have done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in that position. So, of course, the uh, the yeti comes with a tail, doesn't it? No. It comes with tentacles, doesn't it? No. Disturbing uh, presence. Right. So he can't throw it from there. No. <laughs> but it's a it's a blodge gutter, isn't it? Yeah. So it dodges off in a 1 in 36 fail. If I, Am I right with that, Matt? Yeah. yeah, that's why you keep the Berserker back now. You keep mm -hmm. the Berserker back just to control the area in the backside. And then um, you start taking a look at, at what you can dominate on the pitch. Oh, he ran out of time. What the fuck? He had a, he had a mighty blow frenzy here and he could have moved the wolf back a bit. And oh, God. Oh, that was horrible. That really wasn't great. I've hit three minutes. This, look at this hole. Time. Gaping hole. It is, it is absolutely move. gaping. And really important that you can push one around the corner and surf it at the same time, which is just fun. Oh, what a costly run out of turn. <laughs> Casual rebel mistake there, thinking you have extra time. <laughs> it was almost as bad as the high pitched gym voice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. I do like the gaping hole. <laughs> yeah, that was just really weird. I gotta agree. Well, mm. I don't hate that. Maybe you were distracted. Like maybe yeah. something happened in real life where I yeah. completely hated that. This free, uh, the one that moved after the blitz. That rat could have hit at the diagonal angle, which would have still knocked out the first one and pushed the second one onto the edge. It could then have gone in and put the assist in and surfed that one at the edge. Yeah, but this way he's got an extra guy for the, for the side Yeah, it's still left an extra guy. Because the two that he's left behind would have been both usable. Oh, right, yeah, I see what you're saying. Of, no, yeah. One of them, yeah, one of them would be. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But it was alright, you know, he's got where he needs to be. It's all fine. When in doubt, it's your side gauge. Of course, I would say mm -hmm. that the, uh, the tackle pom berserker should get up in these people's faces, but I don't think one can assume he's actually going to move any pieces at all. <laughs> yeah, maybe something happened in the air. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, Imagine if he just it's... had that off back. Oh, yeah, no, something must have happened, because he's used to playing two-minute turns in CCL to build this record, so a three-minute turn wouldn't yeah. befuddle him like that. It must be a real life problem, which mm -hmm. is sad. No, Mr. Nice Guy from Sea Bros, he's not giving him a. <laughs> he's not. Oh, no, no, he's clicking on things. He is clicking on things, so he is there. He is there, yep. Will Sitar. He's clicking on things. Yeah, that was just really weird last turn. It really was. And it was such an important turn where such a lot of hitting could have got done. You really do feel for him. <laughs> Cloaca. You just looked up a cloaca. Did you Google it? If you, if you Google image search, it, it's it's quite a sight of cloaca. Like it, it it's such a weird thing that like in some community leagues, I won't name any, like this match would have been replayed. <laughs> um, with that kind of situation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's a long way from settled, so certainly no side can claim an advantage here. Yeah. Okay, so the Yeti isn't the Blitz, of course, so he sees if it moves first. <laughs> Puts that dirty player in somewhere where it's not offering any assist. But it is cancelling. So if the player that's going to hit it had Frenzy, that would be useful. Oh, 
So a technical issue. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds like Blood Bowl too. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that's terrible. Surely any stain admining system would just you know, offer him to replay the game. <laughs> so Eagles are pretty pretty popular, yeah. It's, they're weird though, aren't they? They're in, they're a, they're a strange uh, they're a strange. <laughs> Gonna have to key a fight if the other line up here. Oh so he like killed him! Elliot's dead! <laughs> Speaking of cloakers. <laughs> Well, there's been a lot of death flying around. There was a Norseman that died last uh, turn, and there's a, a rat dead this one. In fact, uh, amusingly, I don't know if you uh, can go and point your client, because we're covering it, at the rat casualty box. Uh, the Norse the Norse, casualty All three are dead! No, all dead. three are dead. Dead, dead, wow. dead. Amazing. It's a, it's a proper page, page thriller. Dead, dead, dead. He hasn't, he hasn't appalled any of them either. <laughs> what a mad ass. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a GFI that, that Ufer and a Tower Seal are lining at. Like and then the rats have, have... Sorry. The rats have one dead and one moving, losing a movement point. He's keeping his apple. Wow. He's like, I'm, I, don't my, I, don't my, I don't want my Yeti to get hurt. <laughs> I was going to say, it's for the Yeti, isn't it? <laughs> You could have taken the elf to, to base. I quite like the. Yeah, saucy little, saucy uh, little one in nine dodge there from the elf. Mm. That was weird. Mm. That like was lovely. You. No, you just use the elf to just get to the lineman, right? Like yeah, directly. Like I don't that. know get a movement. But... He's about here, wasn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. Yeah, I like yeah. the elf there. Strength four. Is yeah, the okay. Strength three. It was still a sexy dodge. <laughs> <laughs> the ball here seems horrible, but then such a such a good and prominent position for the Yeti right now, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been really integral to how this half has uh, played out. I think it moved possibly three times, certainly twice. You can just one D. You can just literally just one D. I can blitz. No, it doesn't. No, so he's in a good spot actually. So the the off is in a good spot. Because now he can't blitz and come and assist. But he can blitz and assist there, and then he can block, and then he can come here, then he can 2D. And then if he, even if he pushes him, he can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. 8, 9, G, 5, Ooh, G, 5, G. Ooh, the skull's down here, lost he's in trouble. Yeah. But this is, um, this is the standard rat problem, is that you do put plenty in front of it. You even get ball contact, and they just... Dodge out and thinking, run away over the other side of the pitch. I was thinking so that's about actually bolting the plan here. Yeah. Of course, actually bolting the the mighty blow. Yeah, the fend is going to help. That adds a square of movement. Yeah. You can still just yeah, score though. Goes. Yeah. I'll well, get out of range of the tackle. You Would you guys have hated? Tackle. Would you guys have hated the bolt on the on the mighty blow tackle player? Yeah. Like just bolting him at the start yeah. and then just go yeah, to the that. left. I hate that because then I think you've got no match equity. It's yeah, it's just very negative, it's, isn't it? It's zero zero. Like mm. you just you just stall a turn there, you just go to the left, you just stall a turn there, and then you, you score. Um, yeah, and then the other gutter, the the guard one comes and uh, just stands in an annoying spot, a knight's move away from the tackle mighty blow one. Yeah, exactly. But now now he has hold like a one in six to um, to fail the dodge potentially, so he could have filled that dodge and then he would have had nothing. Look. So like there, there's some risk involved. Have in you this. ever coached rats? <laughs> Gutters don't fail dodges. <laughs> Have you ever that's that's, that's well. not a thing. Thank what you. What is this really <laughs> going on? I mean, Dub scored the block, so you know it, it was pretty good odds. It, like at the start of the yeah. turn, he was pretty good odds. Like saying if he rolls a one, he's fucked. It was very likely to be one in thirty-six dodge to be. Fair. That's that's the perfect square, and now this. Uh, yeah, this okay, equally ugly storm, the storm vermin can come and sort of vaguely help. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, and that's exactly I mean, the square. Just... Perfect, perfect square. Look how sexy I mean, that storm vermin square is. <laughs> I mean, at least now he has everything, right? Like now, if even if he um, he gets pressured, like he could potentially even score next turn if he needs to. Yes, uh, because he has that wizard. Fair enough. I mean, to get pressured, he needs this. He needs to put the. Dirty player in. Now, actually, you can bring back the midfield one that that gutter dodged off, can't you? 
I'm putting that assist on this guard, and then the uh, Berserker has to blitz through it, killing it along the way, and then do two go for it's just to touch the ball carrier. And then the dirty player can come after it, just to keep it all honest. But, um, you know, it's it's almost certainly burnt another turn. And if he really worries about that one in 36 fail to get off and score, if that all happens, then he can just throw the lightning bolt at it. But it's much better to keep it and to turn yeah, them I'm... over and win uh, if you need to. Or just turn them over to stop them. I wonder if yeah, this would have... Spot. Here. here we go. I wonder if this would have looked the same if... Um... Will Sutar took a little bit more risk there and actually invested the uh, Ulverner where the where the lineman was that was hit out. So it's yeah, that's and true. Yeah, that that would have been would have been stronger, much harder to move. I mean, you'd still do it on a one die, wouldn't you? But um, and the flip side is you could have advanced afterwards as well, whereas off the fence you couldn't, which would have given him an yeah. extra square of movement sideways. Yeah, true, true. So everything. I mean, yes, it would have been tougher, but it pays off in other ways too. You do the dodge before you do the uh, before you do the blitz, because then if you do, oh, he's just gonna hit. I quite like dodging him to just get him there. Yeah, I'd have brought him back to to pressure this stall more. But oh, of course, it also yet. leaves a rat free that could have run down. And now look, the Yeti's gonna get a hit. So how yeah, can you possibly complain? The bogey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it definitely should. Where's he going? Why is he doing? Okay, that's a good move. That ties up that other rat. Yeah. Here we go. And, just and look, just as long as the as long as the might as long as the tackle mighty gets there, then it's fine. Just palm. He's still gonna score. Just palm him. He can't, Jim. Yes, he can. You're just gonna fail the GFIs anyway. Oh, no. wow. There we go. <laughs> oh good, that was that was quite a decent turn. I mean I would have pumped with the Yeti for sure. Yeah the Yeti yeah, had pumped, yeah. The Yeti um I think it stupid it, didn't it? Because it had a red ring around it. I think no, he no, did he try knocked, it out. He knocked it down. He knocked down the uh Oh the yeah it did. Oh well then he should have pumped. I yeah. missed that. I was looking at more important things <laughs> elsewhere apart from where the Yeti is. Because it's never gonna do anything of importance in this match. Oh, God, another another removal. Yeah, he apples that. I was going to say, if you're not going to apple any of the any of the dead, you should apple a KO there, and he does. But I mean, 50-50, it did nothing, didn't it? So I think he probably should have used the 50-50, it does nothing on the Ulf <laughs> it, It's It's been an interesting game. Like He's rolled a one! He has. Puts his re-roll in. Oh! Showboating his way home, right under the posts. <laughs> you don't I mean, get it's been that sort of toxicity from the Russians. They're a very polite race. It's it's been a really inter interesting game so far. Where I think like there has been some mistakes from both coaches. Like definitely. oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, still very high level coaching most of the time, but just a couple of turns that you thought, what the hell is this? Yeah. So so Sipiak, the thing is like. If you apple the dead, it only works half the time, and like it's much more important to win the game than uh, than you know keep players alive at the end of the day. So ultimately, when he didn't apple the ulf, he was kind of hoping that somebody else would get badly hurt so he could use it. But then everyone only died. <laughs> so when they were only dying, he's like, well now I've got to use it on this kill. And then as it happened, this kill stayed out. So maybe the other the other one could have stayed out as well. So yeah. it's a bit shit that it was only fifty fifty, but he was kind of just forced into it by these all being Absolutely. dead. The Ulf was the only two tricky decision, wasn't it? The other two were just line Norse that cost yeah. 50k to get replaced and definitely didn't deserve an apothecary. Yeah, they but if they... Have died, it was their fault. Yeah, and the Ulf like only the... had one skill on it, so it's, you know, not the end of the world, is it? Yeah, one, once the third one, if the third one had been badly hurt, you probably apple it just for numbers then, don't you? But you can't risk yeah. it on the, on the dead, so that's the problem. Well... Um, well, that's what he thought. He thought he couldn't risk uh, it. Yeah, that's what he thought, absolutely. So eventually he had to risk it on a KO, which could have come I mean, back at, uh, anyway. Yeah, that ulf, it would have tempted me. Yeah. But, um, I mean, I, I do the same in cop competitions. You know, the path is to keep the pieces you want active, active. But some, just sometimes you have to throw it at a serious injury and hope. Yeah. It's also about chalice equity sometimes. 
Yeah. But I think for both of these teams, you know, winning this game at all costs is absolutely how you need to play. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The Norse certainly, because you know the Norse aren't going to get much further. Someone will bang them out. The Norse for God's sake. Yeah. This is the problem. The, the reason that the Norse are up TV, Jericho Peppers, is it's, it's this fucking horrible shit yeti. He's like 230 TV. <laughs> it's yeah. just horrible. At least he's punched his way. <laughs> yeah. uh, his weight on the moon, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's been awful. Man. Now, this I, is again a term where you're this low on numbers where I might consider blitzing with that Yeti as I've got him. So why he just did that step forward, I don't know. Because it's the I mean, least useful piece on the team, so you may as well just smash it into some rats and either let them play with it or have to at least dodge off it. Gotta say, it's looking really good for Seabars here, and, and and with the team he has, yeah. like you might be looking at the at the like a serious contender for for becoming Chalice champion here. Like it is a decent rat team. It's got plenty of toys. It's got an absolute stone cold killer. It's got some lovely gutters. That's pretty much all you need. Yeah, one turn uh, claw. That's that's it. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a natty, and he's avoided the uh, the rat oak. I think it's lovely. I hate it. Uh, it must be quite good. <laughs> he got his rat oak killed, if I remember correctly. Like he, he played a little bit too much with his uh, with his stories. Seems very sensible. Now the move ten is on the pitch, so obviously that's a piece that should be dead. <laughs> You're not going to get there, though. No, not this turn. <laughs> oh, I just assume. Do you have big balls, PC? Do I have big balls? <laughs> um, I d I've never thought of them as particularly out of the ordinary. <laughs> but I'd hate to ask my partner because that would imply she had extensive knowledge of men's balls, and I hope that isn't true. <laughs> Oh, I, it was a quick snap. Of course, the Blitz is coming with the Yeti. Perfect. <laughs> well, Justicium said, Wow, my friend with big balls comment the game. And then he wrote uh, back. Uh, well, Justicium is my friend. And, of course, a member of uh, Clan Fumble United. Fum, <laughs> yeah. as they are now known. Isn't that a fun name? Yeah. Are they playing you, Caprion? <laughs> Do I eat ass? Ooh, help me Huge. Ass. Uh, no, I don't. I, I doesn't worry Double me one to say that. Price. That's not a thing I've ever done. Glorious. Congrats, oh. Caprion. Double one on the pickup, and um, the one turner is sort of in range to <laughs> pressure the sure hands player, <laughs> which could be interesting. Like I, I, I definitely would try to open up a gap here. <laughs> Fucking one and, turner and <laughs> nearly can pick up the ball. So. Yeah. yeah, like you can basically base the ball and then base the. Base I think the it definitely should. Man. I think it definitely mm. should, and I don't think he should tag the uh, mighty blow <laughs> tackle piling on piece. I think that would be a wasteful thing to do. I'm just gonna hit the. Uh, <laughs> woo. See, this is what where is where. He has really C enjoyed the idea of hitting the Yeti, hasn't he? That has been a thing. Yeah. Yeah, this is where Team Boss and I are totally different in style. Like, I, I would have definitely just gone for the gap here with the Lyman hit on the on the next to the Uferner. Yeah. You just you just create a gap there and just flow through, which is perfect. Um, yes. I mean, I I hate doing this, but do you need to? I mean, should you just not not risk your players? You can catch like a mongoose, though. Anyway. Yeah, that's even the look thing. Like you've just got to just defend, haven't you? You've got a wizard. Off. You've got a wizard, and you've got players between them and the ball. Yeah, it's what I struggle with. I, I love coming for the ball because they've got my ball. But you don't have to, do you? You're one nil up. You've got a wizard. Oh, what's, the what's, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, maybe so... maybe. It's like maybe, maybe a little bit more conscript. That's nice. Yeah, like maybe just hit the guy because he's but yeah, he, yeah, he's got pom, so you know, by knocking him down he's got the waste of blitz on a shitter. You know, yeah. or, he, or you know, so it's 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 not a bad player to knock down, to be fair. No, no it isn't. I just I didn't think it was that relevant as it yeah. hasn't been all okay. game. No, but if you think you've won 
Yeah, then... yeah, true. <laughs> and it is a piece that can still do some damage. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't, but it, you know, theoretically, it could do some damage. And more importantly, defend line. Uh, uh, defend Lyman is isolated. The the the, the small scoring threat, yeah. which is probably not going to score anyway. But like, um, you never know. So like, mm. everything is covered off. You do never know. <laughs> Fix skull on the Yeti. <laughs> Awesome. Well, that would counter the niggle that, for some reason, it hasn't been fired for having. Yeah. You bought turn sixteen, no matter what. And yes, no. you bought a wizard. Yeah, no, no, not no matter what. Oh not no, because no you're what. defending, and they might still pull off something ridiculous to score. Yeah. Oh no, no, you do get yes. Yeah, because they'll have the turn sixteen. No, if you haven't needed it before, then if you think you stopped them. You probably don't, just in case they pull off some ludicrous miracle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> but almost certainly you use it to counter one of the threats on turn 15 or more likely 16. Yeah, but if it's only it absolutely also... certain it isn't needed, then yeah. what's the point? If there's only two scoring two threats, you bolt one and you blitz so the other. Yeah. yeah. But not no matter what. There's definitely times when you wouldn't bolt. <laughs> yeah, if there's one scoring threat, I probably wouldn't. I mean, you've always got the end of turn bolt, so you probably just try and blitz the scoring threat, and then if that doesn't work, you bolt. Yeah. The sad thing is, you you don't always have the bolt, do you? In fucking blood bowl too, because you should always have the bolt. You should be able to uh, bolt at the end of your turn after a turn over, but you can't in blood bowl too. Yes. So if you were to blitz one scoring threat, roll pushes, re-roll into dub skulls, then uh, unfortunately you don't knock him over and you don't get the... <laughs> and you don't get the ball. So that's disappointing. Isn't it? Well, at least in Blood Bowl 3 that's going to be sorted out for you, Jim. The way the rules are written at the moment, you'll be able to bolt... Uh, you'll be able to fireball at least at the start of the opponent's turn. No, no, they changed uh, that piece. Glorious. In the latest, in the latest no, I won't give in. Yes, the way they changed it is it's now... Glorious. Wiz can be used at the start of either defend. player's turn. So no, no. No, 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 they, they, they've errated it. That's what it was in the rulebook. You used it at the start of either player's turn. If the, that's what it was in the Blood Bowl rulebook. Now they've changed it oh, so that it's at the end of the turn. So oh, it well, I does... misread that. I thought that's what it said in the errata. No, no. I thought no. the rulebook said that you could use it at the start or end of the opponent's turn, and they errated it to the start of each. No, they've errated it to the end of each. And it was at the start of your opponent's turn you could use it, which is obviously ridiculous because you just fireball them and they turn yes. over. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it was FAQ yesterday. Yeah, well, errated yesterday. In fact, not FAQ, errated yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because it was an ins obviously it was it was insane that you could um, that you could bolt. And uh, well not bolt fireball and make your opponent turn over is so stupid, isn't it? No, not fireball the ball and if they drop it to turn over KLZ. Fireball and if anybody gets knocked over it's a turn over. So at the start of the turn you would just fireball these three players and if any one of those three gets knocked over, it's a turn They lose their entire turn. Yeah. Yeah, it was insane. So they at least at least they are at that. <laughs> Right, so he's got he's got two scoring threats. Yeah, and he hasn't ball. No, you know he should, he can't ball. It's ten fifteen. Disregard. <laughs> so do you blitz the line or this? You can't hit the strength four, can you? You just got to hit the line. Or? Yeah, you just you just hit one of those two. Like um, the 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 ball carrier is gonna need like um, two GFIs and then another two GFIs. Oh no, it's even out of range. Like. It's not gonna reach, so like he can't reach the ball carrier. Yeah, um, just check. I did misread it. You're right. It's at the end of either turn now, so you can do it at the end of yours or the end of theirs. Oh well, there's a chance Cyanide code it properly then. Yeah, I feel like the these errors have come from Cyanide asking questions. To be honest. Uh, yeah, I heard you say that, and I didn't necessarily disagree. Um, I mean, most of these questions are questions that have been asked by players, but not all of them and it does strike me as the sort of thing that someone needing to clear them up because they are both quite comprehensive and they sort of all make sense so that doesn't seem very games workshop yeah yeah it it seemed to me like it'd be the sort of things that Cyanide would be asking while they're trying to work out the rules and then the article on pc game said 
you know, implied that they were asking him questions and getting things clarified. Yeah, they did. So. Oh! Okay, you've got to score now as the, as the north. Yeah, I was going to say, as the north, do, I, do you try and go this turn? Because this is... Yeah, you've got it's to... Open. It's only going to get harder and the wizard's going to stop you. I, I think... But it's it's also open, like you just hit with the with the berserker on the on the on the storm room, and then yep. you can just pass it to the vent player. Yep, you've got him. You've got him. Yep. There's your there's your opening. I, ideally, you want a push on the first set of dice, and you don't care what the second set of dice are, as long as they're not are both down. Because you don't really want to just um, hit him yep. and end up in the square he's in. So you're Absolutely. looking for. A two pushes is perfect, but a push and a pow is the best. Yeah, yeah, that's a GFI if you uh, if you get if you palm straight away, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if there's any other that there, there, there shouldn't be any other player than that. Like no. that is the play. Yeah, he's he's got it, hasn't he? Well, hit with the Yeti first, of course, and pile on. Yeah. Well, I mean, the other thing you can do is, of course, you can blitz it. And that way, as long as you knock him over, you can get out of the way. There you go. That's because he's spent four, he doesn't need to be. Yeah, okay. Well, then that's oh, perfect. No. Oh. Ah. Oh, that's the absolute nightmare scenario, that, isn't it? That is bad. That's horrible. <laughs> no. Okay, Love that. Us. No, you had to re-roll that. Yeah, I because think. no. Because you didn't re-roll that, you're just basically like prey to the wizard, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, because the you know, the Yeti doesn't have break tackle. If it did, you could have tried that blitz to free him, and then the you know the catch, and then a dodge yeah, off the gutter you... to the door. But I think this now has to mean you try next turn, and I'm not sure you're going to have the pieces. Yeah, I don't there like is only two that could possibly be in range. No, there's the Norse over the other side. Yeah, he's got to. Okay. He can dodge to get into range too, which probably also needs to get done. And let's go. Yep. Why? <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's jump up. Good. Oh, it's just it's the movement, of course. Uh, yeah, that was terrible. True. Shouldn't have jumped uh, belt on there. No, it was great because it means when the Yeti activates and hits this rat, it hits it into the square where that thing was removed. Which is a better square to be pushing it into. Of course, he should have just pushed the other one straight forwards instead of into there, but you know, <laughs> it's fine. Well, that was a really unlucky one in nine, wasn't it? Well, also, that position's interesting because now you can't activate the Yeti, so the Yeti doesn't need to activate. Because on two pushes, obviously, you put him right next to the ball, which is awful. Okay. So let's, let's do a count here. There's three scoring threats. Yeah. What do we do? Let's escape. We can put a fourth one in. Rick, Rick fireballs the these three Have in his own gutter. <laughs> and he does activate it! Okay, wow. And yet doesn't dodge the dirty player that could have been another threat. Um, is it doing any good back there? I mean, I suppose it is. The strength four otherwise could get around the back and hit the ball. I mean, it still can, yeah, but only for one to die. He won, he won the ball! <laughs> Ooh, now it can get interesting. Oh dear, now it really is interesting. Ooh. You're right, Jimmy. Feels like you're having conniptions there. Yeah, why not just ball? Maybe just balling the ball carrier was the better one, eh? Could have come no, both here. Got it. No, both carriers just have had nightmare dice, to be fair, at this turn. Yeah. It wouldn't have mattered who he'd balled it anyway, because he rolled a one, but still. My cloaca is tightening. <laughs> That's a lovely stun. <laughs> Massive, yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Mm. Yeah, Indeed. Um, wow, this is very passive aggressive. Thinks he was met my wife. <laughs> He's got the this back is not good enough. Motion here, hasn't he? This is not good enough because you can actually blitz the the one turner. Like if he keeps it like this, yeah, you good. need to dodge off this other rat, this line rat that's down by the strength four gutter, got him. and bring him that's... back into the picture. That tightens it up nicely. That's better, yeah. 
Still not enough though. Might As still not is. be enough because you can actually um, yeah, chain, chain yeah. you've got the route. Yeah. But I mean, you can just yeah. move them to here, can't you? The gutter can go here and then it's... Yeah, the gutter now needs to... Ooh, didn't expect that. That's very rowdy. Um, trusting to blodge step there, and I think that's probably all right. And now the one-turner can retreat a square. Yeah, that's much stronger. Yeah, this is good. Okay, um, how do we unpick it? I'm looking for an uphill on the vent uh, player, like on the on the on the guard. Hope for a push, and then you just charge through. Yeah, Maybe. I think we hit the blodge step gutter first because we can cancel, and that gives us a one die to do the same move. Yeah, because wherever that blodge step goes, we can take the space it's in. Which yeah, cancel cool. killer and means we can hit the guard for one die and then dodge through and then throw the ball to him. Yeah, but, but the blitz is definitely there. Like the blitz has to be on the guard player. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't see another way. Mm. I mean, probably we do the Yeti. Yeti pile it, uh, it clears things up a little bit in that area and gives us other spaces to go to after we hit this gutter because it's going to sidestep somewhere annoying. But if it sidesteps in behind the guy we want to blitz with, that's fine. Doesn't change the maths at all. And it gives us space up the sideline to run and throw from. Yeah, so it, it's it, a 3-4-3, three, three, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And otherwise on the both down, it's a 4-plus, 4-plus, 3-plus. Yeah, so and technically, technically plus not, I, not exactly a 3-plus, yeah. yeah. And then you've got it's a little a, bit to him afterwards. Yeah, it's a it's a soft three. Uh, it's a soft three plus. Yeah. So but like, I think it, it, as really I say, it starts by hitting the step gutter, and you just need some kind of push. Yeah. And whichever way it goes to also tells you where you're throwing from. <clears throat> you can even three D the gutter, can you? If you if you power this guy first, I can do it anyway. Yeah, but the pro yeah, no, you shouldn't. Because now that's. Square yeah, exactly. Now we have to hit with the Yeti. Wow. What the hell is that? What the... Oh, wait, he's going to change it. Oh, he's going to change it. Yeah, he's going to change it. Oh, okay, okay. This is nice, then. Yeah, yeah two chains and it becomes just a three plus. Lovely move. Yeti to the rescue. Hit the hit the gutter first. Frenzy though, to right? frenzy. Hit the gutter first. Um, yeah, I don't see the need. Yeah, because for it's three, three days. No, he does it this way, but still. Woo. Hey, one more. <laughs> wow, what a play! <laughs> what a lovely play. That is fabulous. This is what I said, like, he can save himself with the chains here, and that's a wonderful one. I didn't even see that one. That's beautiful. Yeah, that was really nice. That is very, very sexy. I mean, I don't know yeah. how, how light yeah, it was. Yeah, he goes out around the outside, so they, he should be able to get away with no intercepts here as well. Yep. Oh, what a play. He needs to do one go for it, for it to be uh, in six. What a top tier play there. That's beautiful. That was absolutely fabulous. Oh, no. Makes a pass. Hey. Task <laughs> we have overtime. Well, and that deserves to take us to overtime, that play. That was absolutely stunning. Mm. Much Somebody. better than what we were looking at. Really creative use of the frenzies there. Loving it. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how, how good it was. Because the, the pushes are like about 55% or something, aren't they? So, not even that, are they? Fair point. Yeah, fifty-five percent. Fifty-five percent for the pushes. So, it, yeah, it looked cool. Needing for, needing it certainly looked cool. It it does deserve the beauty of art. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it does, but it, I don't know if it was most effective. It looked nice. We, we can we can we can find out I mean, if it, you want to come by this. Yeah, it also had that other advantage of giving the uh, the receiver the space to curve his run away from all of the possible intercepts. 
Yeah, like, so I think if we sambered the entire ridiculous chain against our entire ridiculous chain, I have no idea what will yeah, come out top. I don't care. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not good with some of it all versus Finn, but let's let's take let's take a look at what he did. So he did. Um, um, Kilsey uh, claiming all the credit for the fact that the Yeti made a big play there. A two D two into a yeah, two D two. Without the Yeti, he wouldn't have faced the Wizard. Two D two, two D two. Three D from the Yeti from from, from one of them. Uh, 3d2, yes. yeah. First, first one was 3d2. Into uh, a 3, into a 2. No, no in the, into a 3, into the dodge. Just the like, three, let's, yeah, let's the dodge. just take the, the dodge play and not look at the pass play there. It's not really No, no, because he got to do it without intercepts. I want you to take True. the intercepts off the other brute. <laughs> so, four, 4 and 2 then. 4 and 3 then. So, Samba, 3d2, like this. That's... Wow. Except the other one was one of the 2D blocks that was like four successes, wasn't there? Yeah, the final one didn't matter if it was a power. Yeah, true. So that, that one was 3D4. So it wasn't that good. But what what was the other one like? It was um, some... Uh, oh dear God. Um, it was a 1D, right? 1D... Yeah, 1D. 1D. Might as well just say it's a 1d4 result because one day four. It, it gets really hard. If you both down, it gets so hard as to make it yeah. not really worth trying. 4 3. 4, and then I'll add, an, add, a, two, I'll add a 2 plus for the intercept just to make it easier for us. 4 2. 3%, um, 11.3. So really very, very similar. Okay, there we go. Uh, and technically, in some ways, ours may have been ever so slightly better, but not as fun and creative. Yeah. Yeah. Ours, ours was okay. Now that makes it much better. Okay. Good. We're still podcasters, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the two plus is is not really real though, because that you know that is not the exact uh, that is not the exact no. thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Angrily found yeah, the but he hard. to put any. You know, doing it that route, you have more pieces you could use to cancel some interception options and things. As I said, starting with the hit on the gutter runner could have given you a, a route down the side, which only needed one agility three piece cancelled, and you had someone in range that could do it. So, yeah. But still, a hell of a move, and deservedly taking us to overtime. Yeah, so it was let's, nice. see, uh, let's see what that means. It certainly looked it cool. Was that lovely. was the most important Yeah, exactly. It looked really cool, and that, that has a value all its own. Yeah. Yeah, and the fact that Norse have won the toss gives them a chance, doesn't it? I feel if the Skaven had won the yeah, toss... Yeah, fully rewarded, been... not only with the touchdown, but now with the ball. Yeah, I think if the Rats had this, we'd, it'd be over in two turns. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, they both have a single re-roll. Not a lot of equity around. And it's eight Norse against the might of a full Skaven army. <laughs> For next no, they're one down, aren't they? Ten, ten Skaven. Nearly a full Skaven army. <laughs> but with an extra <laughs> reroll as well. They got a second reroll there. That's, and uh... I miscounted the Norse. The Norse also have nine. So there we are. It's nothing like I said. It's completely different. <laughs> it's 10 v 9. <laughs> these are the dead rats. Three dead rat fucks. Um... <laughs> and one dead Skaven. <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of death. The Man, I'm comparable really... to the amount of death here is the state of Rig Reckless's fridge. <laughs> I don't like hitting him with the with the with the old. I would have rather got the old foot, to be honest. Seems this like is the beauty, the beauty of Blob Boy, isn't it? Because like I was, I was. 90% sure that Seaboss was going to win this one when I uh, when I saw the starting drive of the of the Norse there. Yeah. And like still we still are heading in overtime and now they have the ball. So like this is this is a thing with Blood Bowl. Like every game has its own story. Uh, I mean I've been opinion. trying to watch more Russian play because I, I always feel the same every time I look at any team of Singolos. Well, how the hell does that win then? <laughs> and yet it repetitively does. Um, so I kind of want to work out how such Russian builds keep being the success that they are. And I guess it just comes down to really good coaches wielding them. 
Because I still hate them most of the time. Oh, but they God, seem to work. I hate Singolo's dwarves. Like, it's horrible, isn't it? It's fucking... And it's yeah. pretty Russian standard, that. And it's like... Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> it's yeah. fucking horrible. Yeah, that. <laughs> it's a very odd position for the dirty player. If he moved one to his right, he'd also be the... Oh, no. Okay, that's not a berserker. I thought it was. So that's just an ordinary hit. No, Kels, he just, he just blitzless dwarves, which is oh, I, just horrible. I think I think the Yeti would have been better off just staying in that position. Oh, he could have blitzed the Yeti, come on. I think the oh, Yeti would be better off in a can of dog food. But... <laughs> <laughs> yep. There we are, it's on the pitch. And it's in the centre now while the Skaven can just go around him. Yeah, I guess I guess you can cover with the Berserker now on the right flank, so that's fine. But still, I wouldn't have hated it to just keep it there as a strength 5 bully in the back side. Uh, to be fair, so I'll let people say horrible things about me. I, I couldn't care less. Um, I tend to run most of my dwarf builds with four of the positionals, and I get the fifth one, the second runner, as soon as I go to 12. Um, I tend to only run with one slayer unless I'm looking to push to 14 and don't think I can afford a death roller. And then a second slayer might well arrive. Um, the, the sort of classic Russian build is one runner and ten line bids. Um, but occasionally mixed up by perhaps bringing a single slayer. And yeah, obviously Ducky's right. It's more that Singolo's coaching dwarves, but I still think there's you know he do better with a better team. Like he does, he gets insane records every season. Like obviously he's good. Do you know what I mean? But it's just like, why not just take a proper fucking build? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, look, uh, as a dwarf coach, people have called me all sorts of names. Um, you know, Min Maxer is perhaps one of the nicer ones. Um, I just, I couldn't give a shit. It's a game. I play because I enjoy it and I play the way I want to. Yep. If people don't like that, that's their right. Just don't expect that your gaming morality is going to impact on mine. It's not. That's ridiculous of you. But similarly, I don't expect mine to impact on others. I think that is a, a pleasure we should give more people more often. Just let people do I mean, what they I, want. I, I get the same discredit for the horrible uh, shadowing tentacles builds, of course. Like, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> so open. Yeah, so open. yeah, but you, you'll still win because you're chunter, right? So like, but it's like, why? <laughs> why not do? And that even then, right? Taking fucking shadowing why not tentacles just build them properly. Yeah. As, as bad as that is, it's nowhere near as bad as no Blitzer dwarves. I mean, come on, come on. Yeah. That's, that's fucking. Yeah. That's next level. That's just like doing it to troll, basically. <laughs> I mean, I can find the reasons why, but I, I don't agree with them. I think you can still be lean and efficient and fighting without cutting absolutely everything down to a single dynamic. That, in general, doesn't interest me as a way of gaming. Also tends to be why I don't build claw pop teams. Like it's it's just so needlessly limiting on a, on a team that's already limited, isn't it? Like, yeah. Um, well, I mean, I think so, but he, you know, he gets very successful records with them. So I have been trying to watch that and see how it happens. And it turns out he bangs be, on stuff and it works. <laughs> it's going to be a battle of control on the on the right flank here, for the for the. Yeah, next. this dodge out is became vital, didn't it? Because otherwise, there's just a huge, huge area that they can run into. A Norse, I mean, they're not super quick, but they're quick enough to take advantage of that gaping flank. Yeah, they're dwarves with plus two movement on every player and plus two armor on every player. Oh, he's ruining him away. He's, he's fouling the Yeti. Oh, my God. It's manly. Just why? <laughs> I mean, the Yeti's just done nothing. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Well, he's traded a, a line, line rat for the Yeti, which... I mean, I kind of like Jim's point that sometimes if you leave terrible pieces like that, knowing that the opponent's going to use them, it can be a real weakness. <laughs> oh, but it was a two-assist foul, and it's got rid of it. Yeah. And that's a great result for Wilson. Oh, now, he know, now he can't fuck up anymore. <laughs> well, and also he's traded the completely useless Yeti for a possibly useful lineman, so yeah. I think... Possibly the rats are down on that trade. Yeah. Yeah, horrible decision. Just, no, I, I think, like, 
if that's yet he has any chance of standing up of course like if he heads to that right flank you're not going to be able to do anything so i understand c boss here yeah but, um, Yeah. We'll have to see what, what will sit or does. Like, I'm, I'm quite curious. I'm looking at this in, in, in silently. And I mean, I could have hated that more. It was a reasonable value piece to remove. But I'm also trying to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. He can break tackle, can't he? So he's got to think about that in his... Uh... In his plan, he was just hit with the break uh, with the with the break tackler. Yeah, but he yeah, could also break tackle, hasn't he? It's an option, isn't it? So. Yes, it is. I was thinking a nice little cage, one of the corners of which would be the support for that ulf to do that hit, so that if it's a push, the second one isn't a single die. Yeah. Um, it just it lacks a bit of ambition, doesn't it? At a time where it it feels like more could be achieved, but I'm not. It's not instantly leaping to me. I quite like the idea of just centralising that ball, trying to see if we can pull the Skaven in. Pull the Skaven off. By the way, as much as you hate Skaven, Jim, you've got to realise, like, if they lose here, like, Norse are going through to the next round. I do hope you, like, you realise that. Like... Don't worry, I'm not cheering on the Norse. It was just a cool move. That's why I cheered on the Tuddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh... I mean, I'll even cheer on something toxic like halflings if they pull a cool move. <laughs> oh, there you go. Beautiful. Oh, he does the friendly Two one. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. It's not a trap, though, is it? Because it never bloody works. I know. This is another question about how much ball, how much balls does Seabos uh, boss have? Like this is um, because you could actually again look for a hit with the line that, like, it hasn't fully positioned up yet, so yeah. you have to put the lineman no. over next to the. I mean, no, I would yes, I'd be having, I'd be double skinning that little corner of this sort of cage. Yeah. For exactly that reason. But it's you know they've got. Uh, I suppose Seabrod does have two re-rolls still, doesn't he? Blitz. Yeah, he has. He, did, he hasn't used the second one. For yeah, fuck's sake, Tony! Stop Excellent. being yeah. shit! Okay. I mean, I think World Sitar's going to at least have a shot, possibly next turn. Running out of time, though. Ooh, does Jeff, how does he do the punch in time? Yep, does nothing. Look a dog. Slowly. I'm slowly starting to believe like World Sitter is the man with nine lives, you know, like because <laughs> last last round he just yeah. avoided avoided getting eliminated by a hair by versus Miss Beltree with the with the chain, and now he's done it again. Like it's incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Oh. Well, he's KO he's stunned, but he's occupied two. He's taken two actions to do it, hasn't he? So that's not a terrible trade. Bad, obviously, but at least <laughs> like that was the problem by doing the hit, wasn't it? Is that you attacked by the tackle and instantly yeah. getting much more likely to get knocked over. Whereas if he dodged away, he gets the strength out in front to bust through. I, I did like the dodge, to be honest. But... It's fair, it's fair not to be doing it. You'd really have liked that one to pal, but I'm not sure he's getting through this turn. No, he's not. He's crucially not in range with this Berserk. He maybe should have GFI'd or whatever been one, one spare close. So. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're right. Because obviously the Ulf can punch the hole. Poss possibly. <laughs> you, you punch through the blitzer right now, right? Like the skating blitzer, if this is the position. Yeah. Yeah. You try to. Yeah. You punch through the blitzer. Yeah, with the strength full. Not easy to know. I mean, there's, there's still then three Norse that can keep the ball safe. 
I don't know, you've got plenty of time, you could just you could just Yeah. Punch and wait for your wait for your oath to come back. <laughs> yeah, I'm not <laughs> slightly in favour of that. Then in that case you hit guard. Yeah. On the, on the, in my on humble the, opinion, yeah. one of the best oh. commentators that yeah, I've but, ever uh, heard in my life. One into two then, yeah. Come back, come back. Yeah. I don't hate that. Oh, he gets the pow. Well, it just added a couple of sexy hits. That's the nice thing about that. He got the pow. I've got the power. Yeah, you actually hit the guard tackle instead of the guard, so you hit the guard tackle. Yeah, maybe. yeah, sorry, yeah. that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. The guard, sorry, yeah, the guard blitz, yeah, blitz him. Yeah. The only problem is Good that if he gets a push, rest, then you're stuck What can I do for you? Yeah. Without a load of Norse to defend the ball, but there's still some spots you could go to that would sort of be not entirely undefended. Yeah. And put another player next to him as well. No, you can't. No, you can't open that up in any. Well, you can. No, actually. then you probably put one on the sideline, just in front of the downed blodge stepper. Put the ball in the. Um, you put you put the dirty player. Behind. You put the dirty player uh, on the on the guard player as an assist on the diagonal on the lower side, lower right side, and then you blitz um, where the guard is, where both the guards are. You blitz from the top side onto the downward section. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. That's um. That guarantees you get free as long as you power him. Yeah. yeah. And it can be part of your cage afterwards. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> That's the but plan. You probably still need to put the tackle piece Ooh, up on the. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's or just for this side. He's going to pom the gutter. He is. Oh, I don't like this. That's. Oh, man, I hate that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. You just oh, dive no, now, right? Plan. You just dive into the side cage. Yeah. Although the two, the three gutters are not in a good position to do it. Oh, you can't use your last free roll. Oh, I now they are. <laughs> there you wow. go, Frenzy Trap did work, and he chose to do it. You could have just taken the board down. Yeah. <laughs> and he chose to get Frenzy Trapped. <laughs> Oh, oh man! Deservedly removed. Thank yeah, I was going to say, you know how he deserved that touchdown. He fully deserved that as well. Now, now he can get in there. And, so for um, once, maybe Blood Bowl, take one B. Blood Bowl giving us some, um, just for once, sort of right outcomes. <laughs> Don't expect Hold that to ever happen in one of your games, kids. It's not <laughs> going to. Is there anything better? Like I'm trying to take a look here. He can. Uh, he could dive in and two dice the ball. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, surely that's okay. You could, you can, you can. No, no, no. You can chain the guard in. Yeah, like that's what I mean. Guard, that's how you dodge into yeah, two yeah. dice. Yeah, put the guard in here. Another guy in here. Block him. Get the guard in there, and then you could, you could dodge in for the for the two D, or you could just gum him up, or gum him up, or whatever. Don't know yeah. if you could surf that's or not. That's beautiful. Like if you if you do that, like if you promote your own guard that way, that's lovely. It's all right, isn't it? That's certainly the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Whether you can do something better somehow. I don't, I don't, I don't think you need to, Jim. I mean, I, I really like that plan. That's a good place for the blood step to be. Beautiful, he sees it. Yeah. It's the only reason why you put it there. Yeah, excellent. He sees it. Here we go. Okay. Now, do you move the other rat in so that this is uh, the first what? hits assisted? Huh? Okay. What the hell is that? <laughs> that was not what we expected. Um, I suppose there's a surf of the strength four, but it's a one die. There's no way you can serve the ball carrier like this. No way. No, so but like you can serve the strength four. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can serve the strength four. Yeah, that's quite nice actually, isn't it? 
Um, it does mean putting this gutter right up in his face. There we go. And it's a one die to do it. Yeah. But it is nice. It removes a key piece. That is nice. He is really gummed up here, isn't he? This isn't great for him. Yeah. But he's oh. sculled, and now he's got to blitz out the score, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, he can just blitz with the yet with the all for the more. How many squares he's got? Yeah, so he could blitz with him actually. So he blitz with him and then GFI, that's better than dodging, isn't it? If he powers him. I quite like that. You can chain the dirty player out if you if you hit the tackle the tackle guard player. Hold on. You need to have a player over here, though, below the line. The line. Red. I think if you hit the um, the piece, oh, you can't make it world work. sitar with the elf. There's some really sexy. Ah, oh, no. Damn. There's a piece you'd have to move that Norse forward. Yeah. You, you can do it. Yeah, it's hard to change it. No, I think I think you just stand up. Uh, what a side stepper. Blitz. One of the ones I'd want to be playing Double with as a side stepper, yeah. making it impossible. Yeah. Yeah, it's just what a what an entertaining like last overtime section here. Like you what can... an entertaining game. Yeah, know. you could surf the gutter, couldn't you? You could uh, you could want you could two D no one D blitz him, one D blitz this gutter here, and then surf his strength four gutter. But then you just get counter surf and it's pointless. But it'd be funny. <laughs> like it loses you the game, but it'd be funny. I think you just. Just blitz out and then pass it to him. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's whether you think you're gonna get better than that. That's the thing, isn't it? And are you gonna get better than that? Probably not. Outnumbered. Well, at the moment they're, they're scaling, massively down in numbers. Yeah, I don't like the blitz because now he's got to dodge, hasn't he? Whereas if he'd got the power, it'd have been a GFI if he'd done it himself. Can he, can he screen himself? Can he screen himself on the left flank in the center? Is there a possibility to hold off? Oh, yeah. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Okay, maybe, yeah. Uh... Yeah. I don't know. I, I like going for the touchdown personally. Yeah, same here. But like, this, this is this is less wild than considering you only have a reroll. Yeah, you've only got one reroll. But then, hmm. maybe. I don't, know, I don't like it because if you if you fail this dodge, you're fucked. Basically. Mm. Okay, he's not. Oh, there's the dodge. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for it. He's yeah, gonna make the play. Yeah. I think he definitely should have pissed with him then. Right? Yeah, this play would have been on board even if he had served the strength 4, right? So, like, I think he should have still just put the guard tackle in and just dived in. But there's the pass. 5 plus. He's done it. Makes it. Oh, <laughs> shouldn't it. have GFI? Oh, <laughs> wow. Doesn't matter, he rolled the 5 plus. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> yes, I think. 2, 3, 4, 5. No, it, it would be 2 GFIs. Mm. That was an 8, so you'd have to have done 2 to get it to a. That's still better, seven, that's still five. better to do 2 to, to like, better chance of scoring, though. 2 GFIs is, is better than, than not. In effet, les les deux, hein, Jim. Et moi aussi. Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> no, insane, insane game. Yep, what an insane game. Like, absolutely crazy, crazy. Yeah. That that last the last few turns were so were so vital to the whole thing. Like the decision of of Seabos there not going for the dive, and then the the the, the, the successful dodge by uh, by Will Sitter just ending it there, and the and the pass of course. Yeah, man. <laughs> Congratulations to World Sitter, commiserations to Seabars, uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah. well. Wow. It was a hell of a game, wasn't it, to be fair? It really was. What a cracking game of Blood Bowl. Now I'm just about to go and watch um, Army of the Dead with my lovely daughter. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Who's been waiting for this to finish, so I've been looking forward to that all day. Wow. 
have fun PC. Well, thank you for letting me join you. That was an absolutely cracking game of Blood Bowl. Yeah, um, I'm still a bit speechless. I still expected the rats at some point to be able to use either their natty or their rattiness to sort that all out, but it just never quite happened, did it? And in the end, World City Army did come up with that stunning play at the end of the second half. Yeah. That was uh, all, this was all really just lovely. This was... Uh, it, it wasn't perfect plot ball, but like, it was so swingy. Like, it, it was going back and forth, and it, it's beautiful. And on like that kind on of the thing. upside, Jim, that Yeti will be back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and to be fair, the wizard that he gave him rolled a one, right? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now he has. So, uh, uh, yet he dominant in that game, and we're idiots that know nothing. I don't know what that is. It will kill before. everything. Yeah. 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 Right, I'm going to disappear. Uh, love you all. Speak to you soon. All right, cheers, PC. See you, see you later, PC. Oh man, two exciting, well, one exciting game, the other one was a bit of a... <laughs> of a you can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> oh, thanks, Seabros. Commiserations. That was yeah, a wild yeah. game, wasn't it? Um... <laughs> the, the, the break tackle thing, we unfortunately, we, we, we kind of like, complete, all three of us zoned out and we're just talking about Blood Bowl rules and then all of a sudden, there's a break tackle dodge on to hit the ball that we totally... Yeah, that was, that was something. Yeah, because that, that one in nine, we, we didn't see the one in nine, we're like, that was too easy, it's bad, I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know what could have been done about that. But, uh... I, 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 I was looking at something different there at the NC boss, the last turn you did, like, um, the, the, the chain there, like, I, I saw the same chain, but I saw something completely different um, in the follow-up, so you might, you might want to actually check the vault there. Uh, even though Jimmy says never check the vault, but you might like <laughs> it's only a joke. <laughs> check it's... the vault there and uh, and see what I had in mind. But that was that was super. That was a super lovely game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a hell of a game, wasn't it? And it very, I can imagine it would have been. Although we were like you know being a bit silly at times, I can imagine it being completely brutal for like actually playing it and stuff. And at the end, yeah. Um, I would be, it would be horrible to have played in it, <laughs> and it was very, it was, it was cool, wasn't it? It was a cool, it was, really cool. It was a cool game. So, um, right, thank you very much, Chunter, for coming on and chuntering away. Yes. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna head off as well. Thanks so much for having me, uh, Jimmy. Like uh, first time being on the stream. Um, love to be here. Well, it was great to have you on, and. Uh, Congratulations, Will Sitar. Commiserations, Seabros. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.